Good morning, everyone. Hope you are doing very, very well. Um, for those who are new to the group, my name's Alex. I'm the founder of Shift Success. And uh, in short, we help police officers start and scale successful businesses so they can live life on their terms. And uh, every single week, uh, we do a special theme on training to help you guys win in business, to basically simplify business and just make you realize it's not as complex as some may think. And also to give you the confidence in in doing something and changing your life if you're unhappy. And this week we're talking about bank accounts. Okay, we're talking about bank accounts. We're talking about money. We're talking about uh, making you as as efficient as possible in your in your business journey. And uh, the thing I'm going to share with you today is a structure to allow you to get your finances in order, allowing you to uh, make sure. You are not missing the boat when it comes to getting things in place when it comes to your business, okay? So I'm going to share my screen. Uh, please uh, ignore the doctor's handwriting. It's pretty crap. It's on an iPad and sometimes it gets a bit crappy. So uh, I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to walk you through uh, what this is all about, okay? So essentially, when it comes to uh, business, most people have their bank. So let's call this the bank. And they have an account. And what happens is that they have uh, income coming in. So they have income coming in. And then they have uh, expenses going out. Okay? That is the account. That is most people. Okay? Now, that is very, very bad. Okay? Very, very bad. I'm going to share why. When you have one account, you are not going to track things that you really should be as a business owner. And you are going to spend most of that money in there, okay? And we don't want that, okay? So what we want to do, bear with me. <coughs> Bless you. Uh, the joys of being alive. Um, we don't want that because you're going to spend your money and we want to make sure um, you're actually being a lot more productive, more profitable, and you're not stressing about money, okay? Uh, I find a lot of people in life just stress around money and whether that's in your you know, your job income or your business income, we don't want that, okay? So we're going to talk about this structure. So what we don't want, guys, is this, okay? We don't want, we're going to put a big cross through that. We do not want that, okay? Do not be most people. Instead, what we want to do is just remove all this and start from scratch. In fact, I'm going to leave that there because we might go back to it. What we're going to do is going to think a bit different and think a bit entrepreneurial, okay? Now, this is what... I encourage you to do. So we're going to have six, whoops, six accounts. Okay. So what we're going to do is just call this your bank. Okay. And we're going to start off with the first account, which is your income. And with your income account, this is where all money is coming into your business, okay? So this is the products and services you sell, the uh, any revenue stream that your business sells goes into this income account, okay? So we're going to just put a line here because that's where all your income comes in, okay? Now your next account is your profit account. Okay, and that's essentially as it says on the uh, on the uh, bank account. That's where all money that you make as a business is put into profit. Okay, the net profit. Now, most people in business pay themselves last. All right, and it comes to the end of the year, they look at their accounts and go, "Shit, I've not earned that much money after all," and they've wasted the whole year. Instead, we recommend you pay yourself first. I'll go a bit more into detail on that in a second. The next thing is we want to go into our tax account. And there's a great quote out there. There's two things in life that we just can't get away from. The first one is tax. The second one is death. All right. Uh, unfortunately, you're going to have to pay tax. You have to put tax aside. The amount of business owners I speak to who... Uh, come to the end of the year, they've spent all the money because they've got one bank account. They're like, oh, I can't pay the tax. That's not something you want to get involved in, okay? So we need to pay tax. Number four 
is going to be our volt. And this acts as a rainy day fund, okay? So this basically means that uh, we are going to build a cash buffer and savings in this vault account, okay? The next one um, is going to be our trading account. And in your trading account, this is where we want to put all your expenses going out, okay? This is where your bills, your maybe payroll, your marketing, your maybe you pay for your laptop at your business, uh, any business education, uh, any lights, any whiteboards, any books, anything business related needs to come out of this account, okay? So that is your trading account. So if we look at this now, your income comes into the income account, and then when it comes to your your trading account, sorry, this is where income is going out, okay? And then, lastly, we have a contribution account. Now, with contribution account, this basically means that, you know, I believe business should be used for a force of good. For whatever reason, I think in the world, uh, people think when they people earn a lot of money, they don't help the world. In, in my case, and the entrepreneurs I look up to, they definitely do. What we do at Shift Success, we support charities, we help uh, women in Malawi and Uganda and support them with business education. Uh, we help uh, people with kids in Tanzania, giving them access to life-saving water. And also we provide shelter to uh, families in India, underprivileged families in India. So for you, you can also have a contribution account. Now that's completely up to you. But next I'm gonna talk through the percentages of what I want you to think about with these accounts, okay? So if we go back to these, now what I want you to do is, I want you to really kind of map out this and uh, stay with me on this, okay? Because this is where we start talking about what amount of money goes into each account. So what I recommend is that you start off with putting 15% into the profit account. Now you might find when you're starting out, guys, that actually you're not making 15% profit and that's fine, all right? That's pretty normal as well. With a startup, you build your profits over time, okay? But you might want to find, you start off 15% and then let's see how you go. Then what you want to do, or what we do, we put 25% into the tax for the tax man. Uh, when you build a pretty big business, that becomes very, very painful. Uh, but this is what it is, right? You've got to pay tax. The next one is your vault, oops, is your vault account, and we pay 4% of our money in there. That's where we're building our cash buffer. That acts as a rainy day, right? If that puts a, a buffer between you and the world, whatever happens or comes your way, you're gonna be fine, you're gonna be protected because you've got a cash buffer, okay? So 4%. And then this one, there's a trading, is you wanna, Start off with 55%, okay? 55%. And then lastly, you've got your contribution, which is 1%. Now, uh, by the way, you're not a bad person. If you don't want to contribute, it's completely fine. It's your choice, it's your business. But with the 1%, if you don't want to contribute, I recommend you either put it in your uh, profit account or your vault account, okay? So that vault account might go up to 5%, or the profit account might go up to 16%, okay? You with me so far? Are you with me? I hope you're with me. Cool, so now we've got our income, profit, tax, vault, trading, contribution. As I said, starting out, you might find actually in your, in your first year, you might have, I don't know, 2%, right? Because your trading, your costs are a bit higher starting out. It could be, that's the case. Or you might find, actually, your costs are so low, and we're a big fan of this, keeping your costs low, bootstrapping your business, that's the best way. I think you become more successful that way, uh, because you think on your feet, you innovate, etc, etc. Uh, you might find that your trading might be lower than 55, okay? Then, of course, that means your profit goes up. So your profit and trading will change, okay? Especially in different areas of your business. Now what we do, or what I recommend you do, is uh, look at this account and every few weeks, it could be two weeks, it could be three weeks, 
you basically want to drip down through these accounts the money, okay, so in percentages. So every two weeks you would go down, go down, go down, and you'd allocate into these accounts, okay? So it all starts from the income account, then you take money from the income account and you withdraw it, uh, sorry, you put it into these different accounts, okay? So eventually the income, or every two weeks, it'll be completely empty, okay? Zero percent. And then income comes in again, and then again you do the same process, okay? Now what we do every quarter, every quarter, what you could do, is look at your profit account, and this is where you could have a bit of fun, all right? Business is for fun. And this is where you might want to spend it. This is my, you might want to invest it. So I'm a big investor, so I invest a lot of profits every single month. Um, it could be that you might want to upgrade the kitchen. You might want to go to Disneyland. You might want to uh, have a hair transplant like me. Uh, you might do want to do things that you want to do in life, right? What I would recommend, though, is that a lot of people get caught in the trap of reinvesting the business consistently. I think it's very important, but bear in mind that life's for living too, and that profit account is your fun money, right? So you can invest it, have fun with it, as I mentioned. Just don't get in the core trap of reinvesting and reinvesting and reinvesting for many, many, many years and not having fun with the hard work that you've built because you're alive now, not a retirement. And I think that's where a lot of police officers get it wrong. They think their life starts at retirement, not now. You're only, you're only alive once, right? So profit account, you can do what you want with it. I invest a lot of it and obviously I have fun. I've just booked a lovely holiday to Bali for 15 nights, which is pretty weird. I'm going back for the second time. That's my idea of fun, right? Beach, sand, uh, and a good time, some cocktails. So that's what I want to do with profit. And um, what I recommend too in your vault account is at least, so this is your vault account over here. Uh, let's go to this. In your vault account, we want you to save at least three months expenses. So three months of your operating expenses in your business, all right? That's what we want you to do. Uh, that way, if anything happens in your life or business, you've got three months to figure it out, and you know, you'll know you be fine within those three months, okay? Because you've got time. So that's what I recommend you do. Um, and by having this structure, it just allows you to you know, be more innovative. Uh, it allows you to change and adapt. Because you might find, actually, I'm not taking enough profit and my trading account is up to 60%. Well, that means that you know that you need to change and you need to uh, essentially adapt, look at your expenses, look at maybe increasing your prices, maybe look under the hood of your business, or in short, make sure you've got a profitable business model. And the thing of having one account because your eggs are all in one basket, that's just so hard to do, okay? So I highly recommend you have this structure in place, uh, your bank account will do this, bring them up, say you want some more checking accounts, and uh, you can do this. So, uh, highly recommend, look into it, guys. Um, this forces you to be profitable. It forces you to be innovative, and it forces you to level up through your constraints. As I mentioned, if you are having you know, a good time in profits, and your trading account's too high, then something's wrong, which means you can adapt, and you can change, and you can set the sales of your business. So guys, hopefully that makes sense. Hope you got value from this. Um, if you want the uh, template that we've got, which I did mention in the beginning, sorry, we've got a template on this. If you want the template, just type in bank and myself and my team will give you that template. It's completely free and you can use that in your business. Um, so yeah, if you want that, just type in bank. I think that's a keyword to use and uh, we'll send you that on. So in the meantime, guys, have a, have a good day, stay safe and uh, I'll see you all soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.